Oh, I love you, Stace. I love you too, Jedda. Do you still think I'm pretty then? Oh, babe, the only two women sexier than you are Princess Leia and Lara Croft. She's not even real. I bet you like it up the arse, don't you? Eh? I'll bend you over the bar later. Stace, if I went and did something stupid and got banged up for it, would you still love me? Of course. Perhaps I could jump bail and leave the country. Oh, I shouldn't. It would just cause further complications. Oh, they wouldn't find me if I moved to Papua New Guinea. You could come with me. We could start a new life together in the jungle, just you and me. Away from this capitalist regime. Oh, sweetie. Papua New Guinea's full of cannibals. Oh, they wouldn't eat us, though, would they? I mean, I'm mainly here in Bristol and there ain't much meat on you. Hey, we could farm pigs. Hey, or pygmies. You can't farm pygmies, Jetta. Uh, what are pygmies, Stace? They're like little black umpa lumpers with large willies. Oh. Anyway, think of the hardship, dear. They don't have TV in Papua New Guinea for a start. Hey, Jetta. I've just noticed a perv behind you. Hello, my love. I bet you like it hard. Eh? I bet this proletarian can't give it to you the way I can. Oh my eh? god. Who the hell are you, you freak? Shut up, love. I want to shag this piece of meat. I think you better watch your filthy mouth. I think you better fuck. Get a life, you prick. <laughs> oh, come on, lap it up. Come on, go. Right. Oh shit, no, I'm sorry. I will not respond to that name. Then how shall we address you, young man? My full name is Jeddah Fusion Blitz Ricochet Mindfuck. But you can call me Bob. Well, Bob, are you prepared to answer the lady's questions? If I like them. Continue, Sergeant. Bob. Why did you attack Mr. Belarus two nights ago at the Lazy Dragon pub? Because he was a wanker. Reports are coming in of unexpected numbers of protesters gathering in London in what appears to be the beginning of an anti-capitalist demonstration in the centre of town. Richard's out in the streets with two protesters who are the leaders of a splinter political group. I've now moved to a quieter part of town where I'm talking to the Project Mojo anti-capitalist league leader who calls himself the Cardinal, and he supports this action. Why has Project Mojo condoned this demonstration? Take it away, Randolph. Too long the fascist oppressors have drained the sap of our brother's spirits. The recent arrest and beating of our benevolent sister, Miss Bliss, has enraged our hearts. This time, the lawmakers have taken a step too far into our people's freedom. Massive! The official line from Whitehall, though, is that this kind of behaviour will not be tolerated in any form. Now, what do you have to say to that? That's total hypocrisy by the government. We're here today to show that we will not tolerate that kind of tyranny. Necessary! Project Mojo, thank you very much. Freedom is truth! And now back to you, Sean, in the studio. Thank you, Richard. And now for today's main stories in brief. Bank of England. Bob, you explained in your statement, and I quote, Mr. Belarus squeezed my girl's arse. When I asked him what he thought he was doing, he told me to get a life prick. Now, do you agree that's what you said? Yes. Do you know the extent of the injury sustained by Mr. Belarus as a result of your attack? Yes. He deserved it. And are you aware that he might press charges, Bob? I mean, do you know what a respected man Mr. Belarus is? Is he rich? Well, he is quite wealthy, yes. I rest my case. I'm totally impressed. By what? By the system. 
You're impressed by the system. No, I mean impressed. I'm totally oppressed by the system. I love you. I always love you. <laughs> oh, Monty, darling, you must have been so terribly brave. Mm. Oh. Mother! Flowers are for girls and queers. What? I'll have that little thug regretting his actions every day for the rest of his life. Now, calm down, Ben. Calm down? I'll have the little thug hanged at the very least. We must press charges. No, Dad, let's just forget it. Forget it? He attacked you? Yes, Dad, but I was drunk. And if that gets out, which I'm sure it would, my reputation could be damaged. Riff Raff like him are incapable of civility. He was brought up in the streets, for God's sake. I can handle a few bruises. Harder than a granite tank he was, Mummy. Hard? That's not hard. Hard is a working week having to put up with these ghastly creatures. We paid taxes to prevent the great unwashed infecting our lives. It's warrior justice, Dad. Primal, you know, we, we studied at university. They're Neanderthals, it's been proved. Best to forget about it and move on. Reading books about colourful lifestyles is one thing, but being thoroughly damaged by simple-minded brutality is quite another. And what if he goes to the papers, hmm? Fleming won't be happy about that at all, and I definitely want an invite to that party. Well, Auntie Betty sends her love. Hopes you'll get well soon. She's been much better since her anal watering. Good morning, Monty. How are you feeling after your pub brawl? Mingling with the hoi polloi has polluted my sinuses. Oh, nurse, how long do you think it'll be before I can take him back home with me? Well, just a few days. The most important thing is to be sure that his testicles have managed to untangle themselves successfully. Yes, we can't have the future seed of the family heritage crushed that easily. Ben, hush. It's quality sperm you've got there, lad. And that's why we're going to make sure you're all right. Even if it means cutting off your gonads and popping them in a deep freeze. Those nuts are money. Good. Stop! Uh, 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 hopefully I'll be able to make Mr. Fleming's bash. You'll be fine. You're a Belarus. Firm glands. Yes, Father. Can you feel the power, Dad? Future leaders reside within your scrotum, my lad. I see the FTSE's down 500 points. Oh dear. Might have to rethink our portfolio strategy. Charles thinks IT is out. Japanese market's where the money is. Yes, I suppose so. The throng of the people are encaged within a tyranny of lies. Timothy? Too long we have been suppressed by cunning political mind games. Oh my God, he's on drugs. Peter, call the doctor. Son, have you been smoking LSD? No, father, but I have seen the light. I stand before you now as a witness to the system and a seeker of the truth. Well, that's all well and good, but I suggest you concentrate more on your school studies and on the extremist politics. I can't. I must go forth and help spread the word. Oh, my God, he's going to spread the word. What are we going to do? Oh, don't you worry, my dear. I'll shut him up soon enough. But he can't spread the word here. It's Hampshire, for heaven's sake. Just you sit down, Tim, and concentrate on your breathing. No, I must unmanacle the slaves of the Technozone. Just you sit down. You're not unmanacling anybody. I will. I will. Island Manacle!
They want me banged up. They think I'm a social menace. Fascist fuckers. You are a social menace, dear. That's why I first went out with you. But you are really pushing the boundaries here. I defended your honour, Stace. You shouldn't have used the right to touch my girl. You've got to try and think before you act in that way. It's going to land you in real trouble. I've never been any good at thinking those days. Not since the accident, anyway. Oh, now you can't help the accident, but it was years ago. And you're in England now. Do you think going round, getting in fights, is going to help with your learning difficulties? I want to know how to think right. I don't think right, I think wrong. How do you know you think wrong? Who's to say what correct thinking is? Oh, correct thinking is like the news reporters on BBC One. They think correctly, you can tell. I don't think I think like that. I just don't think, do you think? You haven't even tried to do anything with your life for months, though, Jeddah. Those people spend hours on their approach. You just lays about this flat with your thumb up your bum and your mind in neutral. Oh, you know how this is working those days. It's just not me. I'm a free spirit. Listen, Jeddah. I want you out to try and make something of your life. I don't want a day to know, Opa. I want you out to try and achieve something. I can only date a free spirit for so long before I kick that free spirit out on its arse. Is that a threat to ditch me, honey? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Just try and make a go of something, will you? Try and be someone or something. Pen. Mightier than the sword, and in the hand of this true brother, a worthy weapon indeed. Paper, the pulped supporter, innocent in its modest invention, essential to man's true purpose. Envelopes, carriers of the written word, the messengers of action. Hello, Timothy. Hello, Mrs. Radcliffe. I'd like to purchase these humble tools. Of course, dear. Anything else? Some stamps, please, ignoring for the moment their royal association. Oh, are you going to be writing to lots of friends? I am spreading the word, Mrs. Radcliffe. I say no more. No more to the web of deceits thrust upon our fragile minds. Let me state that I am a thorn in the lion's foot. I am removing my finger from the dam, and the floodgates shall open! Next time we speak, I want a job done. You hear me? Job done. That's right, puck out. Laters. Look and learn, honey. I'm a man with the chips around here. I got me a diamond chopper. Look at that. Beautiful, lover. You should call me the Ulster, I'm so in. Chuffed. Ah, Tim. Uh, can we have a talk? My ears can no longer be contaminated by vagaries and falsities. No, well, of course not. Um, now, how about you come downstairs for a cup of tea and we can talk about your newfound radical political activism. Daddy thinks you're becoming an anarchist, dear. The bounty of a furious mind is allegiance to such a noble cause. We think you've lost the plot, dear. A plot only established by onerous self-seekers wishing to delude the masses into assuming a mammoth plan exists. Well, I don't know about that, but perhaps... You should see a specialist. Yes, only as a precaution. Test me all you like, but you won't break me. Chain me to the spikes and whip me a hundredfold. You won't hear me cry herald for free market economies. <laughs> Hello. It's late, isn't it? Yes. It is. Can't you sleep? No. Not really. What happened? Got assaulted. 
What do you get for mingling with the detritus? Well, you'll heal up soon enough. The body's remarkably adept. Yes, I suppose. Fancy a fiddle, then. Pardon? A fiddle, of your parts, just for a bit of fun. What are you talking about? Oh, you know, a bit of slap and tickle, ease the boredom. Uh, no thanks. Come on now, don't be shy. Everybody loves a good play. Uh, I think you better bugger off, you old queer. Oi! <laughs> Ooh, a little fighter. I love a good challenge. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a Jeddah Fusion Blitz Ricochet Mind Fuck. Well, I'm his girlfriend and this is my house. It's all right, Stace. I'll deal with this. Mr. Ricochet Mind Fuck. Yeah? I am the father of Monte Belarus. Never heard of the fucker. That fucker is the person you assaulted a couple of days ago. Oh, right, yeah, I remember. And? And what? And? Well, what in God's good name did you think you were doing? He pinched my bird's ass. Do you believe there's a sufficient grounds for extreme physical brutality? Yeah. You are a layabout and a cretin. And look at you in your ridiculous clothes. He finds the bohemian perception of beauty a worthwhile transcendent experience, actually. What is beauty to you, then? Uh, well, I... Uh, Do you think Stacy is attractive? No. Indeed, if I didn't know better, I'd assume she was a lesbian. Do you think your son thought she was a looker? My son meant no harm by his action. He is a fine, upstanding member of society. He's a tosser. I certainly expect him to make more of his life than you ever will. He's going into politics, you know. What party is he a member of? He is a Conservative. I'm going into politics, then. You can't. Why not? Well, because you... You're unwholesome. I'm going to become a Green Party member. <laughs> oh, oh, well, good luck, then. I'm going to go and watch some TV. I want a written... Apologies sent to my son within the week. I'm warning you, Mr. Rind... Uh, uh, my... Uh, bloody pleb. Yeah, we'll be at Project Motor in 20. I want to see all the boys, and I want to see Miss Bliss, you hear me? Yeah, I want it down, and I want it pucker. Respect. Laters. This is our hood, baby. Yeah. This is where I'm down. You bet. This is where I'm in effect, you know what I'm saying? You're the man, Big C. I'll be five minutes, OK? Sure thing, honey child. You take your pleasure. Excuse me, sir. Officer. Yes, how can I help? I hope you realise you're in danger of breaching the public nuisance regulation. Oh, really? Hmm. I suggest you keep the music down and concentrate on the road. But I'm not driving. Just watch the road. It's straight ahead of you, son. If you follow that path, it'll take you to places you've never even dreamed of. They say all roads lead to Rome. I don't agree. I say all roads lead to Blightly. Blightly, I say. God save our gracious Queen, long live our... All right, all right, I'm sorry, officer.
Hello? Oh, God. Oh, Father, you've got to get me out of here. There's perverts creeping from every corner. I met your assailant today. Which one? I wanted to look at the man who did this to you. God, but you shouldn't have intervened. He's just an oinky little hoodlum. Scum of the earth. Was he hard as steel? He was pretty damn mean, son. Take me from the scary bananas. Anyway, won't be long before I'm back and fighting. Feeling up to making an appearance of Fleming's doom? Wouldn't miss it for the world, of course. He's given the Tories a real boost. I couldn't possibly turn it down. I really want to go with a girl, though. Oh, shall I have a word with the girls at the office? Oh. No, they're all mingers. Hey, maybe you could team me up with that Emma. She's a higher class of girl. And can I borrow your Porsche? Perhaps you get it waxed? I'll see what I can do. Cheers, Daddy. Uh, rather not. Bruising? Extensive. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. He stands there and gives me a whole lot of aggro, and then right there out of the blue calls Stace a lesbo. Unfucking believable. Yeah. So to cut a long story short, I've decided to go into politics. <laughs> politics? What the fuck do you know about politics? Oh, enough. I read the papers. I've been to one or two demonstrations in my time. Now, what party are you thinking of joining? Oh, I'm going to join the Green Party. I feel like I'm really born with them, you know, what with my social status and feelings for Mother Earth. Respect. Yeah. The Greens. The Greens have about as much pickle clout as a sausage at a bar mitzvah. No, Spartacus. They have more influence than you might realise. My ass. That's true. They're a formidable voice for environmental awareness. My ass. Ah, oh, cheers, Weasel. Oh, you might like to help me in my struggle. Yeah, of course I would, Jenna. All oh, right. I suppose we'd better organise a first meeting. Spartacus, are you interested in joining our campaign? Not on your bollocks. Right. OK. Weasel, what do you think we should do? Right. Well, you need to inform the people that you're a serious runner for the local Greens. Yeah, you can always become an independent later, right? Yeah, yeah. But I would have thought that our first port of call ought to be our very own Green Party headquarters for this constituency. Oh, Bonza, we'll do it. Hey, you know, I'm feeling real pert about this, Weasel. Yeah, I think I finally found my calling. Worthy. Hey, you know, you're all right for a pomp. Bollocks, more like. Shut up, Spartacus. Miss Bliss. I hope you left the nick in one piece. Just about. Lovely. Just pucker. So, the issue of the day is the inexplicable, inexcusable, inhospitable subjection of our people. It's a time for action. And the oppressors should feel the rage within our blood. Yeah, there weren't no real violence round here till we got proper. Yeah. Uh, no, Dobber, that's wrong. We are opposed to the violence that plagues our land. Your penchant for smashing in heads is merely our way of getting our message across. It's the only language they understand. Yeah, I've got multilingual fists. Well, my mum thinks we've gone too far and wants me to stop hanging out with you. Sorry, boss, but I'm in a predicament. We're all in a predicament, Drench. Jeez, look at you. Where'd you be without this crew? Without us, your brotherhood, your virile gang? You'd be dead, that's what. Lying face down in a gutter with a slug in your ass. But boss, this is Hampshire. That kind of thing rarely happens. Precisely. Because of the time and effort that folk like us spend in making sure that the bad mothers of this world don't get their way. Hampshire, Surrey, Somerset. It could all be like the Bronx if us folk don't show some social integrity. But we never really do anything. Don't do anything? 
We were a major part of a London demonstration in the name of freedom. Project Mojo were players in a revolution. That was an anti-capitalist demonstration, and it was the first thing we've done in months. <laughs> in your quote, freedom is truth, at the end, what was that? I don't know. Oh, come on, guys, you know what I meant. Oh, my boys, just chill it. Let's get back and have some smokes. We made primetime TV. Oh, Jenna. See that? It's nice. It's to the point, clever, and implying long-term solutions. As your political advisor, I would suggest a calm, understanding, softly, softly approach. And these environmentalists are usually quite small and easy to frighten, and they don't eat meat. Understood. Let's do it. G'day. I'd like to be green. I see. <laughs> what my colleague means is that we would not only like to join your essential organisation, but also play an active role in party politics. And what experience do you have of politics? Ah, well, I'm not an expert, but uh, it's all a bit of a spectrum, really. A bit like a lovely rainbow. That's why you're green and the commies are red. Uh, and your first-hand experience? Ah, you're good, I can see that. Oh. Well, I don't drive a car, mm -hmm. I'm anti-capitalist, and I believe that cannabis is totally natural. Well, if you'll just uh, help me fill in these forms. Bonza. What, what, what is your name? Jeddah Ricochet. Jeddah? Oh. Uh, J-E-double-D-A? Just the one D, oh. as in democracy. Jeddah. And the surname? Mindfuck. Oh, but you probably shouldn't use that, should you? Are you taking the mickey? No, no, honestly. I I'm entirely serious about this. Do you have any um, relevant qualifications? Oh, well, not as such, no. But I am the kind of guy that I really stick at something once I get going. Isn't that right, Weasel? You remember the record shop? True enough. Oh, it was a mate's. He used to pay me a fiver a week to listen to all the second-hand records and sort out the good ones from the crap. Well, I would have liked to get into DJing, but I can't spin for shit. Yeah, I probably could have worked in radio, you know, chatting. I'm quite good at chatting. Yeah, but I do tend to swear, which is what my girlfriend really hates. Mm. Especially when I'm talking to the kids. Oh, you have children? No. Whose kids? Oh, the kids in the park. Oh, yeah, they come up and have a chat with me when I'm having a drink. Look, gentlemen, might I suggest you start by trying to find work? A, a job in refuse collection, for instance. As far as I can discern, to be good in political speaking, you need three main skills. Ah, oh, yeah? Yeah. Firstly, and this is crucial, right? You should never become lost for words in the face of the masses. I shall free you from oppression! We're not oppressed! Secondly, use metaphors and symbolism to explain your perceptions and your situations. Holding aloft the sword of truth! You might hurt somebody with that sword. Oh yeah, right, I got it. So, like, if I said to this bloke, Oi, you're an unbelievable fudge packer, but, you know, he doesn't actually work in a sweet factory packing fudge, but he's a fudge packer, that's metaphor. Yeah, you'll get better as you go along. And thirdly, right, use long words tactically. Learn a few of them when you get home tonight and put them in your verbal six-shooter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's no good sounding dumb. They'll laugh at you. Yeah. You've got to try and be more, uh, demosthenic. And the bond of trust within our brotherhood is strong enough to see us through these days of uncertainty and darkness. Let's go. Me to guide you, we can all drink tea until the cows return to the milking parlour. There you go, Jedda. Classic symbolism. Wow. I mean, if you're going to promise us an Elysium where the major policies mass consumption of tea. I'm beginning to doubt the sanity of this whole operation. Right, who wants to join us for a nice cup of tea? Yeah, I'm up for a cuppa. <sighs> Oi, mate. Uh, yes. We thought you were very good. You did? Yeah. You show promise as a public speaker. And your prose contains moments of utter dynamism. And your inherent motives for sermon, although 
perhaps a tad volatile for Joe Public. Nevertheless, show much sincerity and passion. I will not beguile the people with falsities and hidden agendas. A fair point. Would you like to join our crusade? We could use a man like you. Does it seek to reap the mass of their naive splendour? Uh, weasel? Well, at the present moment in time, we're primarily concerned with the increased move of a Green Party initiative. The Greens, you say? Yeah, that's correct. Poor naive lovers of gracious trees. How long must they campaign to see our world redeemed from the iron grip of capitalist defilement? So you're going to join us then? You may be the very catalyst to manifest my vision. Oh, great! This is really coming along. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. Wait! Sorry. Forget about it! Just get me out of here! Drive, woman, drive! For goodness sake, get it! Anything... What do you think I'm trying to do? Look, have you no idea what they've been doing to me in there, have Monty, you? don't shout! Look at that old bastard! No, oh, Monty, what do you think? I'm only doing my best! Why couldn't yeah. Father pick me up anyway? Where is he? Oh, well, he's on the bloody golf course. Where do you think he always get is? Get out of the bloody way! Monty, don't speak to me like this! I'm not! It's a bloody cow on the I'm road! I'm only doing my best! This country yeah. is covered in plebs! No, I tell Monty. you! I've got to do something about it! I wish I'd gone to the hairdresser's. I wish I'd go to the bloody hairdresser's woman! I should have been at the hairdresser's all afternoon, Monty! Jesus, you and your hair! You. He touched my penis! So, it's agreed. Tim, you'll be our party organiser and treasurer. I will write out a series of pamphlets outlining our initial campaign to the general public. And Jeddah, you, after a good facial scrub and cleanse, will be our leader, God help us. Hey! Yeah. I suppose we should think of a name for our party, don't you, Tim? That would be a sensible suggestion in light of our current arrangements. Well, we can't call ourselves the Green Party because there is one already. And we can't beat them up and nick the name because they're bigger than us. So, I suggest we call ourselves the Psychedelic Party which cleverly shows that we cover the whole bloody rainbow. How would you consider the title People's Environmental National Independent Socialists? Oh, fuck, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? It was only a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. We should be Verdian, as in the old French, you know? Meaning green, but not too obviously green itself. And European, too, for the EC and all that. What? Verdian? Yeah. It's classy. What, just Verdian? No, we're going to need a verb as well to describe our personality as a political drive. Oh, wait, you mean like Excel? Yeah, that's not bad. How about Verve? What, Verdian Verve? No, it's bollocks. Well, what about Thrust? Yeah, Verdian Thrust! Exotic. I believe we should also seek out the teachings and support of a brave man who inspired my breakthrough of insight. What's that? Goes by the name of the Cardinal. Oh, he sounds like a top bloke. He believes that freedom is truth. Right. Freedom is truth. Ace. So, oh, let's all go home and start sorting this shit out. Weasel. You'll write our proposals for us by tomorrow, right? So we can start handing them out to the people. No problem. And Tim, it ain't work, do you? Not at the moment. Good. Work is the tool of the oppressors to enslave... Ah, something bollocks anyway. Yes. Right. Let's go. Right. I really love you, my darling Stace. You make me win the human race. You make me think. Yes, not no or maybe. So come on, girl, squirt me a rainbow, baby. Oh,
Young Tyre. Oh, hey, no, Dewey. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm, oh, we I'm found so you had as sorry. much sense as you have mucus. So what have you been doing all day? Ah, oh, I'm now a leader of Verde and Thrust. Is that some kind of spaceship? No, it's my very own political party. What's your agenda? Oh, the world's in trouble, Stace, and that's a fact. And if we don't do something about it soon, we can kiss Mother Earth goodbye. Now, this is just as much my planet as anybody else's, and I want it to survive. The scum, they ruin this planet for profit. Now, I might not be the smartest guy, but I'm not in it for the money. My priorities are in check. I'm going to become president of saving this planet. Do you want to be my first lady? No, oh, you've got truth on your side, Jeddah, and me. Oh, dear Peter. I have to have five milligrams of diazepam after every discussion with him at the moment. He's become absolutely fixated by these grand schemes of his. I'm sure it'll all blow over, darling. But Tim's methods are so cold and sinister. And what's more, his arguments make absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I know. I know. Now look, he's been out on his own all the day today. I'm sure when he gets back it will calm down and then we can all talk more coherently. The crusade of change has begun. I have rendezvoused with the prophets. Little can stop us now. I'm now going to bed. Good night. I know, darling. I know.
Brando, wanna fight? No, it's okay, thanks, Dobber. Oh, you pussy. Thanks, Bill. Bye. Right. My cousin's having a shindig at the weekend. He wants all the top players there, know what I mean? This party's poor out Stob at home. You should count your lucky stars. You know someone as culturally significant as me. That is how I've always thought of you, Big C. Of course you have. Because you're not stupid, are you, Dobber? You're the best I got. Sonic, go bully and muscle. Come on! What are you reading? The way ahead. Right. As you were then. Very good direction, no doubt. Do you feel like a privileged warrior, Randolph? Well, of course, Big C. Well, that's good. You mean a lot to me, Randolph. I mean that. Dopper is bloody ignorant, but you got a brain. That mind of yours bounces about like a wallaby with a decidedly myth wasp in his pouch. Uh, thanks, Cardinal. Right. I'm off for a jacuzzi. Dobber, by the time I've finished oiling my nuggets, I want everything sorted. Right, nice one. Boys, respect. Latest. How's she pumping? Almost done, I'd say, see? Nice. Let's have an earful. Beelzebub's ass is this shot! Something real by James McIlwraith. Drench, as a cardinal, I'll say that this is a sin. Only techno, ragga, hip hop, and rap may emit from these costly subwoofers. Do you understand? It's a beautiful song, Big C. It's lady fornication music, Drench. Not the kind of thing I expect to engulf my sensitive lugs with. You understand? Sorry, boss. Forgive me. Now, give me the keys. Let me piss off. Hey, shut the boot, mate. Listen, Trench. You're a good man. Not like the rest of the gang. You've got a good heart. Use the love. Use it like a weapon. Spread it, Trench. Don't fear the love. Love the love. Let it lubricate your particulars. But don't be a lady boy, eh? Got you, Big C. Listen. It's time you learnt the ultimate truth, Trench. The ultimate truth? What's that? Through our history, come hell or high water, war or famine, pestilence or global crisis, man struggling for faith and truth, all the books written, the words spoken, the songs sung, the things invented. All that really actually matters to a man at the end of the day is the size of his frobber. Understood, Big C. size of it. So I thought, bloody hell, I'll have one of those. So I bought the bloody thing. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, sack em. In fact, bollocks, sack em all. <laughs> Good show. Good Lord. Oh, nothing. No, I've just been handed the post. It contains a political activist leaflet. How extraordinary. I didn't know we had that sort of thing in Hampshire. What? No, 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 it seems quite serious, although they've spelt verdant wrong. <laughs> eh? Yeah, I'll have a look at it. Like a bit of public empowerment. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Listen, Jeff, um, I'll speak to you soon, OK? Yeah, yeah, to <laughs> ah, Marvellous. Simply marvellous. This alpha male has a harem of 12 females. Yeah. Once a male has oh, won a whole competition to become the leader of his troop, he becomes the silverback. So, what's next on the agenda for Verdiant Thrust? Ah, well, Weasel's managed to wangle a publicity day with a journalist from a local rag. Yeah, he's going to do a report on it. Wow, are you excited? 
Yeah, well, I was until Tim mentioned that the media is a political mouthpiece for a corrupted plutocracy. I see. Yeah, I assumed he was right. It's just I don't know what a plutocracy is. So what are you going to say? Oh, I'm just going to lay it straight down the line. No messing. I want the facts. Although the male can weigh up to 500 pounds, he has incredibly small testicles. Mother Nature has been raped! When will we learn? She is priceless! Priceless! When will man learn to treat her like a queen and not a common whore? She's worth more than a handjob round the back of Asda! When will we learn? Mother Earth ain't no bitch! Freedom! Look, I did not hurt your sapling. You did, I saw you. You just trod on our sapling. Oh, I didn't. Look, it's fine. See, it's the most sorted sapling for miles. Give it some love. What? Love the sapling. You almost ruined its chances. Well, how do I show my love to a sapling? Cup it in your hand and talk to it in a caring manner. He's particularly fond of Coleridge. You've got to be joking. Do it. It's nature's child. It needs care like the rest of us. For God's sake. Dear Mr. Sapling, I'm so sorry I almost trod on you. Please forgive me. I think that one day you could make it into a really decent tree. Sorry, I don't know the Kubla Khan offhand. See, there you go, one happy sapling. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me when uh, Mr. Ricochet is going to be here? I've got an important meeting this afternoon with the local ramblers. Uh, Mr. Simmons, could you please just wait a few more minutes? OK, I'll take another few more photographs. Another effing protester up another effing tree. Tim! Bovine spongiform encephalitis, gastroenteritis, priapism. Don't even get me started on sexually transmitted diseases. The multinational pharmaceutical firms are denying the third world important medicines that could save the lives of millions of people on a daily basis. I'm late. I got the shits. You just shot an ass sapling. Hey. Move, move! You're killing it. Oh, sorry, you didn't see it there. It's only a little fella, isn't it? Right. Where's the journalist? Uh, Mr. Simmons. Mr. Ricochet is here now. Ah, oh, Mr. Ricochet. Glad you've arrived. Uh, can we conduct the interview in the tent? Yeah. Why not? Are you for or against the international program to plant and maintain massive tree reserves in order to help combat the initial problem? Yeah, it's a good idea. Does your party funding allow for democratic representation to become manifest should your party become nationally authenticated? Uh, Wazel? With all due respect, Mr Simmons, our party funding is not of primary importance at the present time. You, as environmentally aware persons, feel that these protesters are justified in holding our woodland to ransom? Well, I'll admit they're a little curious. Oddballs, really. But I see nothing wrong in the freedom to choose a life making love to trees. It's all about sexual freedom, isn't it? Sexual freedom? Uh, we don't make love to trees. We sometimes hug them. But that's as far as any physical relationship goes. So it's not really about sexual freedom after all? Well, no. But you just said it was. It was a metaphor. Oh, a metaphor. For what? Uh, for the love these people have for trees. You see, it's, well, it's like they're planting a seed, which is sexual, to help Mother Nature grow. Uh, well, of course, they don't actually bang a bush or anything. We'd especially like to protect the use. Oh, yeah, well, hey, no problem there, mate. I'm no Nazi. So, you admire their outlandish methods in uh, 
operating against the law of the land in order to help protect the wildlife. Uh, yeah. And you believe in direct action? Yeah, of course. So, you tolerate their tendencies to riot and cause millions of pounds worth of damage? Ah, uh, well, if it helps save the planet, it's a good thing, isn't it? Well, you tell me, Mr Ricochet. You're the party leader. Um, yep. <laughs> Monster! Slyman! <laughs> oh, oh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great, yeah. <laughs> I heard he was a pleb. Oh, absolutely. Born of muck. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Still up for Fleming's bash? Of course, the balls are back in business. <laughs> Thanks to boys, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Spanking. <laughs> Tell you what, hmm. why don't we nip out for a swift G and T, mm. and you can tell me all about your plans for a radical party shake oh, hey? <laughs> Great, I've got some spanking ideas for boosting hidden taxes for those damned immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh, cheeky, cheeky! <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gagging. Yeah, couldn't believe how much it cost, so I thought, bugger me, I need one of them. So I bought the bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, well, don't you believe it. Uh, listen, Harry, business calls. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you in the week, OK? I've got to organise this party at my house in London. Yeah. OK, bye. Ah, Linda, excellent. Now, I'd like you to make a phone call for me. I thought it would be rather fun if we invited some minorities. Give these chaps a ring. See if we can't spice up the party a bit. Uh, you know, in the name of uh, democracy, that sort of thing. And make sure Piers and his gang, um, Project Mumbo, are still coming. Very good, Mr Fleming. Good, good. 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 This should be good fun. Hello, Verdiant Thrust. We can and we must. Hello, is that Mr Ricochet, the green man? No, 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 this is Weasel. Oh, rather, this is his uh, chief advisor. All calls to the green man must come through me, as obviously he is a very busy man. Well, I work for Mr Fleming, local entrepreneur. He's holding a political event at his house in London on Saturday at 2pm. We'd like to invite a team of Verdant Thrust representatives. Would you and the green man be able to attend? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm sure that would be lovely. I'll send four invitations. Right, four. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. Good eye. Jeddah. Jeddah. <laughs> you would not believe our luck. Verdian Thrust has gone positively pelvic. Morning, my little girl. Morning, my big man. Hey, excellent news last night, wasn't it? Being invited to Fleming's gig really shows that the word is spreading like hot, wet butter over the taste of society. That's metaphor, Stace. You know, I sense the beginnings of a really great movement. A movement led by me to really make a difference to the nation. Oh, wait until they meet the rest of the Verde and Thrust team. Oh, look, wait, Verde and Thrust, cool. A political nightmare? Oh, shite! My encounter with the green man, Jedda Ricochet, leader of Verdiant Thrust amongst the natural woodlands greenery, did little to enhance my faith in environmentalist politics. Bastard. The green man, as he likes to be called, displayed few of the attributes associated with political leadership. Wanker! It seems the green man is an obscene man. Unfucking believable! Oh, listen, don't worry. They're just expressing one opinion. It's the success and inadequacy of democracy. Oh, but he seems such a polite and, and nice wanker. I mean, what a wanker! Hey, come on, book up. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, please, Dace. Bastards made me look like a right flaming galah. Hey, look. 
You can regain some clout at the party later on. Oh, you know, this is just like Adelaide. I feel like a complete failure. Hey, this is nothing like Adelaide. Oh, you weren't there though, Stace. After the accident, everything went tits up. I was a complete laughing stock. Weasel. Afternoon, Stace. And might I say how attractive you're looking today? You may. <laughs> Where's Jeddah? He's gone for a lie down. The article affected him quite badly. It made him feel like he did after the accident in Australia. What accident? He was out hunting something. Hang on, wait a minute. Jeddah, when you had your accident in Australia, what were you hunting? Aborigines or kangaroos? Kangaroos? You can't hunt the Aborigines, it's just not on. Well, what happened? He was checking out a billabong up the creek, near the Bungle Bungles, when he got hit by a boomerang. Well, he got hit in the head by a boomerang? No, in the arm. Hang about, Stace. How is being hit in the arm by a boomerang, near the Bungle Bungles, in any way like this? Trauma, Weasel. Trauma. Oh. Jeddah, come on! The party awaits! Tim and Spike are meeting us in five. Oh, I don't want to go. Yes, you do. I don't like stupid politics. You love it. Come on. Jada, you can do this. I know you can. I'm rooting for you, OK? Oh, God. Crown jewels out for the Queen. Stand by the flow on my command. Easy does it. Flow! Right, my boys. I want maximum respect oozing out of every single pore of your bodies tonight. My cousin Fleming's rolling in it, so don't piss him off, or you won't experience anything this close to royalty again. Go on, hit me. What? Go on, hit me in the stomach. No, I'm having a piss. Go on, smack me one hard as you like, right in the gut. Get a life, Dobber. Go on, smack him. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Shit, Dobber, are you, you all right? Oh, you didn't warn me, I didn't flex. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no, I can't go to the party now. Chill out, Dobber. Maranello! God, I want one of these babies! Oh, what a runner! Uh, sorry. Monty! Mr. Fleming! <laughs> <laughs> and who is this charming young lady? This is Emma. Oh. She's joining me for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> After you, darling. Ah, yes. Simon? Thank you. Uh, sir. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Rampant as a rabbit in spring. No!
pass. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Verdian Thrust has the right to refuse to use public transport until the government agreed to plough more money into a better maintained system. Our decision to run the distance is an act of peaceful opposition. Then why did we catch the train? Well, our morality will only stretch so far, Jeddah. This is bollocks! Well, just think of the free booze, Spikers! Free booze! Here we go. Uh, this is Piers, my cousin. Bizarre young man. I call him Skyscraper because he has so many flaws. <laughs> Hello, Piers, my good man. How the devil are you? My boys, the main man, my cousin Bill Fleming. Check out the pad. This man's holding folded. Cuz, my associates. Don't worry, boss. There'll be no trouble today. Me and my crew will keep the peace. That's good to hear. Now go and get yourselves a drink and get settled in. Right you are, Flem. We should be rapping with you later. My boys, let's peruse. Hello. Mad as a swarm of dice. Ah! <coughs> Judging by your novel attire, I guess you must be the Green Party representatives. <laughs> How exciting! We're not green. We're brilliant. Mr. Fleming, I presume. Uh, the one and only. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I don't suppose you have a shower. Spartacus here is in severe need of ablution. And perfumery. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, Linda, be a love and show um, Spartacus to the upstairs bathroom. Hmm? Now, why don't you chaps all go and pour yourselves a drink? <laughs> Thank you very much for your invitation and for your kind hospitality. <laughs> hey, cheers, mate. Don't think I've been fooled. They might have been, but not me. OK. Did you see that good-looking bird at the bar? Oh, I saw plenty of birds in the bar. It was like a, like a babe aquarium where only the finest examples of the fairer sex may be allowed to cavort knowingly. Do you think it means that babes are all Tory? Well, of course babes are all Tory. Or do you think any of this lot give a zebra's scrote about socialism or the welfare state? Hey, you know, it's enough to make me want to defect. Don't even joke about it. I mean, we are here, in actuality, as opponents to their creed. Their outrageous opulence reflects materially their inner feelings of futility and self-loathing. Fuck me. Really? Of course! Yeah, I and mean, this is all show. I bet that everybody here hates each other. Whereas our party, in its exalted form, is based on a strong love for our fellow worker. Hold on, Weasel. If babes are all Tory, and we have a strong love for our fellow worker. You make us sound like a bunch of homos. Spiritual love, Jeddah. The Cardinals. <laughs> Don't mess with the peace-loving project, mate. So I tell him, you are not pulling my donger. Pull him out of my face and get ready to smack it's you. you. Well done. Yeah, it's me. The Cardinal, leader of the uprising. See, folks, I've got too many fans these days. You changed my world. I did. Freedom is truth. Say it with me, master. Shit, don't get this crazy fucker off me. Freedom is ah! Leave it, puffter. Of course freedom's truth, mate. Everything's truth. Captivity's truth, too. Ain't that right, Randolph? It's true. No. God, people, let's move elsewhere. Just another crazy nut who knows prime cream when he sees it. I get it all the time. It annoys me. 
I just want to check out the size of my old chap. No! Hey, Tim. What's up? Look, I was just telling Jedder about that excellent plan you had to offer a daily wage to single mothers and It's more over, Weasel. What? It's over. But it's hardly started. I've been a fool. I've been a bloody fool. Eh? Look, I don't understand. I'm quitting Verdiant Thrust. I must apologise to someone. But Tim, let Green deem supreme. No, Weasel. No more. I've seen my own ignorance. But... No. No. Bollocks. Yeah. All right, Drench. Uh, good luck, mate. Boss, it's official. Drench has left Project Mojo. What? He's fallen for Miss Bliss, and he's becoming a horticulturalist. The traitor! I always knew he was a chuffer. You need to be raw stallion to be a mob brood. He's just a dozy-ass filly. Go on, feel that. Oh, it's huge. You know what really gets me? Not only did I raise him to be champion butt, but you know what I did? What did you do, Cardinal? I told him the ultimate truth. About a man and his pecker. That's right, Randolph. And this is how he repays me. And after two or three, she said, can I have one more, sir? <laughs> Simon, that's unbelievable. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, I love it. <laughs> you are my little flower. Thanks. You're rather lovely, aren't you? Have you come far? Oh, we've just come from down the road, oh, actually. Well, I'm ready to come all over the show. What? <laughs> listen, me? listen, tell me. Oh. What's it like being black? What kind of a... Oh, I don't, <laughs> don't go. Show me your knob. <gasps> Oh, they've got huge knobs, haven't they? I, I'm not gay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not you, are you? Are you gay? Black and gay. Oh, God, who let him in here? I've got no idea. Ridiculous. <laughs> no more of those, thank you. <laughs> mm, where's my Emma? Jenna. Jedha, thank God I found you. Listen, mate, I've got some bad news. Oh, not now, Weasel. I've got a kick-ass plan. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh. I met this bird, and she's fit, but she's also dating a Tory. <laughs> so I figured if I try and pull her, I can get one over on the Conservative rep, and that'd be great for her self-esteem. And we can use her good looks for our campaign posters. Sort of, eh? Well, what about Stacey? Ah, oh, she'll understand. This isn't sexual, this is political. <sighs> Listen, we've got other problems right now. Yeah, like what? Like Tim's left the party? That probably wasn't his scene anyway. No, I mean, he's left our party. He's quit Verdian Thrust. You bollocks, why? Well, I don't know. He was all distraught and crazy. Totally different from the normal Tim. Anyway, he's gone. Oh, shit, that's bad. Mm. That's over half our intelligence out the window. Oh, well, we can't do anything about it now, so we'll continue with my plan and we'll talk with Tim tomorrow. Well, Jeddah, Jeddah, I'm not sure that your plan shows merit in the field of tactical networking. What do you mean? It's a top class plan. Beautiful woman is a dangerous pawn in our game, Jeddah. I would urge caution. Bollocks, you'd love a bit of radical. Hello again, my lovely. Hello again, Jedda. Why, thank you. Uh, Emma, can I introduce my friend and esteemed party colleague, Mr. Weasel? Hello there, Mr. Weasel. Mm -hmm. Quite a curious name. <laughs> yes, but I'm nothing like the creature. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. So, where's your bloke then? Oh, yes, uh, he's on his way. He's suggesting a restructure of the Tory party, especially with regard to the single economy. <laughs> he believes it would be a disaster if we lost the pound. What do you think? Yeah, well, I'd hate to lose my stash, but you know, cash is cash at the end of the day, and he's always going to have lots of it, no matter whose head is on the notes. Am I right? Um, well, I suppose so. Yeah, so it's all bollocks. You've got to remember this about politics, Emma. I've been in the game a while now, and you've got to learn how to distinguish between those that talk clever shit and those who talk pretty crap. Sagely put. I wonder how I'll tell. Yeah, our motives are basically right. I mean, you may have already realised that. 
But we also have a dedicated team of hardcore intellects who really know what's best for this country. Such as? Oh, such as more of everything. More? Yeah, much more. What about the poverty crisis with third world countries? Ah, right, yeah, I will we'll give them much more, much more cash. From where? The bank. But that would put too much of a stress on our own economy, surely? Ah, well, you know, our economics advisor would sort that one out. Oh, would he now? Yeah, no worries. We'll have your little blokes fed in no time at all. Note to self, need economics advisor, sort out third world. Jeddah, Jeddah, can we have a little party conference? Excuse me. You're not impressing her. No, I'm in there. As soon as I showed I cared for foreigners, I had her hooked. I think you could be deluding yourself. Now let's just go and mingle about and make contacts a sensible way, eh? Now hold on, hold on. I've got a chance here. <sighs> You're mad. Go and check it out. Who knows? <laughs> Look, here he is. Well done, Simon. Oh, I see. And who is this, Emma? Flirting behind my back already? <laughs> you! I don't believe it. Wanker! Blab! Monty, do you know this man? He is my assailant! No! Is this true? Well, yeah, but I'm the green man. Get the seat! Right, Simon, I want this hooligan thrown out! Suddenly, monsters! You can't do that. Oh, yeah? Watch him! Wanker! Yo! Oh, fuck it, Weasel, we're leaving. What? Well, I don't have to go. Yes, you do. Emma, my love, did he harass you in any way? He was forcing Verdeep to thrust upon me. You bastard! What the hell is a Verdeep thrust anyway, you perv? It's from the old French. It's classy, alright! <laughs> you are a pot! Ow! Boss, come on! My god, you fiend! And of course, the thing is, chaps, I never invite any troublemakers to my parties. <laughs> I will not tolerate violence! It's him, Dobber! It's him! You've got to try and think before you act in that way. You've got to try and be more, uh, demosthenic. Do you think going round getting in fights is going to help with your learning difficulties? I've got it! Weasel, I know how to stop all this violence. Yeah, after the accident, I found my faith again at the Sunday school. I can finish this. Stop it, you bastard! Jesus is the bridge over troubled water and his banner over me is love. Somebody stop them! Oh, come on, folks, we need to sort this out. <laughs> you filthy commoners of the damned! Don't give me that slimy shite! You want to be tied to a galleon and thrashed! Feel the justice, wide boy. Yeah, you shirtlifting, powdered ponce! Backdoor pilot! You're all beastly, just beastly! Oh, come on, come on, people! You haven't got enough grey matter between you to... If you don't shut it, I'll deck you! You beef-brained behemoth! Oh my god! What have you done? Monty, are you alright, dear? No! Wait, this isn't the point of being at this party. We've got to sort this out. We can't keep fighting. We need cooperation. Emma, I'm sorry I pinched your bum and punched your boyfriend. Well, he's not actually my boyfriend. Oh. You know, there's a metaphor for this situation. When I was growing up in Oz, we used to watch the dingoes hunting. Now they're bloody good at it, but they can't do it on their own. So they have to work as a team, see? Yeah, in order to catch the food, i.e. to live, they've got to come together. Now that's what we have to do, people. We have to come together. We've got a hunt as a pack, and that's the only way we'll survive. You calling me a dingo? Yeah, you're a dingo. We all are, but in a metaphor. Boss, what's a metaphor? It's not for anything. It's poetry. 
This man's an artist. You know his speech? How do you know him? He's my friend. He's my inspiration. And he's the leader of Verdiant Thrust. What is that anyway? Swedish porn? It's an environmental political party. We're the future. That was something. That was really something. It doesn't matter how many dingoes he rules. Once working class, always working class. That was beautiful. Let me introduce myself. I'm the Cardinal, leader of Project Mojo. We keep the peace. So how do you feel about joining the gang? Ah, I don't need to be part of a gang. I'm with Verdiant Thrust. We're a political party and I'm the leader. Political party, eh? Well, as the leader of Project Mojo, I think it's about time the leader of Verdiant Thrust was told the ultimate truth. Ah, oh, yeah? the door slam. Oh, Mum, I've been such a fool. Oh, come on. I've behaved like an utter charlatan for the last week. Well, how do you feel now? Mm. I just want to vote for a liberal democratic party involved mainly in sensible and economically sound taxation policies. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Will you forgive my ignorant and arrogant behaviour? I promise I'll try not to flip so readily again. <laughs> Hello, darling. How did it go? Oh, Stace, you would have been proud of me. Yeah, I think I'm learning how to think. Yeah, I reckon I'll be all right. But I don't think I'm cut out for this politics, Lark. I'm way too diplomatic as I found out. Yeah, so I thought I'd help you with your art. You know, I could help you create things. I could get them shown. I could deal with the buyers Okay, and the okay, Jezza. I think it'll be fine. But mainly, I just want to be with you. So, you know, whatever it takes, I'll do it for you. Oh, Jezza. Have you been here all the time? Yeah, I believe so. Your T-shirt? Are you one of those verdiant thrust scoundrels? I'm a valid campaigner. Would you like to know about our health policy? No. You can damn well shove your policy up your ass. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm calling the police. Someone! Someone! There is a proletarian in a bed! My ass. <laughs> 